everyone. Welcome to Vancouver, Canada in the final day of coverage of the Junior Grand Prix final. Beautiful aerial shot of the harbor and there's the Lionsgate Bridge. Lighthouse Point in West Vancouver looking downtown to Vancouver and the art gallery right down in the middle of the city. Christmas time. It's beautiful. It's charming. Doug Mitchell Arena, Thunderbird. Sports Center, the host of this year's Junior and Senior Grand Prix Final. There's the standing so far after the short program. Six remarkable young ladies, incredible athletes. Let's take a look at how they got here. In ladies, the number six spot to the final went to Aliona Kanasheva of Russia, who earned 26 points from two second place finishes in Linz, Austria and Yarvin, Armenia. She's a detailed and very strong performer. In fifth spot, also coming in with 26 points, Yilin Kim of Korea finished second in both Konas, Lithuania and Ostrovo, Czech Republic. She's elegant and delightful and just might be the dark horse of this competition. In fourth, Anastasia Karakanova of Russia comes in with 28 points with a second place finish in Richmond, Canada and a win in Ljubljana, Slovenia. She is a determined and fierce competitor with all the skills. In third, with 30 points, winning in both Bratislava Slovak Republic and Richmond, Canada, Anna Shcherbakova of Russia is incredibly charming and deceivingly powerful. Watch for her to be part of the Quad Lutz Challenge. In second, also with two wins and 30 points, Aliona Kostanaya took titles in Linz, Austria and Ostrava, Czech Republic. She carries extraordinary class and style while also producing top quality elements. Coming into the final in top spot and also with 30 points and two titles, Alexandra Tusova has been unbeatable while producing multiple quad jumps combined with remarkable quality on all her other technical elements. Petite and powerful, she is the one to beat. Well, there's a look at the top six junior ladies here at the Junior Grand Prix Final. Amazing competitors, artists, athletes. And history may be made here. Could be five, up to five attempts at quad jumps with these junior ladies. No quads in the seniors. We just watched the senior event live. Rika Kahara, just two years removed from juniors, won the event here. And a little bit of a background story on Elena Zekatova. She evidently, according to one of the Russian officials, tripped on a television cable and injured her foot just before. They were already or close to withdrawing her. And they, she thought, no, let me give this a try. I think I can do this. So they froze the foot and did whatever, maybe bound it up. She went on the ice and fought her way through that free program. Did a great job and grabs the silver medal. Courage. Moment of decision. The fight through the pain. But here is the junior ladies. Take the spotlight. Here's the first skater, Yiling Kim from Korea. She's fabulous. Solid competitor. Alexander Chusova. Leona Kanasheva. Look at all pretty much the same size. Ladies Height. And gentlemen, please welcome the following skaters. Remarkable skill. The sport is in good hands for these young ladies as they grow. They won't, they'll have some tough days, there's no question, as they change their bodies and as they grow. And there's Yilin Kim from Korea, had a great season. She's elegant and powerful. Tara Canova, what a fierce competitor. Determined all the way, has all the triple jumps. Anna Shcherbakova attempting perhaps two quad lutzes in this. Could make history, we'll see. Elena Kostanaya, so elegant, so beautiful. Alexander Chusova, the first lady to land a quad lutz in competition. Did that last year, there's Elena Kamasheva. And there's a look at the standings after the short, uh, pardon me, there's a look at the start order for this group. 
with her standings in the column under short. And then Kim will start. She's currently in fourth place. Six points out of third. But the degree of difficulty of these young ladies is such that should it not go well, those results can change rather rapidly. This 15-year-old relocated to the United States of America for training. She took silver in her two Junior Grand Prix events in 2018 and competes in her first Junior Grand Prix final. She's in fourth place after the short program. From the Republic of Korea, Yilin Kim. Well, Yilin's strengths are in the quality of her skating skills, the speed to which she covers the ice with, and the flow out of her jumps. She has all triple jumps. Should she perform them well and get emotionally engaged in the performance, it could be a surprise. This 14-year-old is a reigning Junior Grand Prix final bronze medalist. Anastasia Terekanova of Russia changed coaches last year. She used to be She's with the Terry Tuparensi team, moved on to Evgeny Pushenko. She's grown a little bit, but she's a fierce competitor, has all the triple jumps and intense performance. She'll need to skate clean today, challenge for the podium. So determined. This 14-year-old has landed the quadruple lots in competition. She won her two Junior Grand Prix events well, in 2018. Well, Anna of Russia, she's sitting in sixth Grand place, final. had the performance which the no one would Russia, have predicted. Was not strong in the short program, but she's planning two quad lutzes. We'll see whether that happens. But she's not only highly skilled technically, she's such a sensitive and emotional performer. She's got the full package. Will the nerves hold up? We'll see. She's pretty determined to fight back from that short program. This 15-year-old is the current Junior Grand Prix Final Silver Medalist. She's also the 2018 World Junior Silver Medalist. She won her two Junior Grand Prix events in 2018, and she's in lead well, going into the Eliana program Kostanaya. from There's Russia, very few words that effectively describe what a beautiful performer this young lady is. She's completely engaged in the choreography and the music. She takes you to a different place while you watch her perform. But she still has to deliver all the elements to keep that, to keep the judges in a trance. Get those program component scores so high. This 14 year old is the first woman to have ever landed a quadruple luck and a quadruple toe loop in competition. Allow us to have a quad luck last champion season. And the reigning world or, pardon champion. me, this season in, in Lithuania. After the short program from Russia, Alexandra Trusova. Incredibly powerful and explosive and in control. She's fearless, has absolutely no fear going into those jumps. In one of the competition, took a really hard fall on the quad, told him, came around and said, no, 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 we're gonna get this right, and does the quad south. So determined. Eliana Kalasheva, new to the Junior Grand Prix this season, but so delicate, so consistent. She's sitting in third place right now. She gets a clean skate. Jimmy, grab the bronze. Quite an accomplishment for the first year in the Junior Grand Prix. There is one minute remaining in this world. I just wanted yeah, to remind everyone I had a wonderful form. opportunity to speak with two of the best coaches in the world, Brian Orser and Terry Tuberetzi, in separate interviews. We will be 
posting those on the Junior Grand Prix site at some point. But make sure you subscribe to the ISU Junior Grand Prix channel if you want to get a notification when those come up. Those are not your normal interviews. They're personal and they're revealing. And it was such an honor to be able to speak to these great coaches. I think you will really enjoy that. So make sure you subscribe to the ISU YouTube channel, Junior Grand Prix channel. And when they come up, you'll get a notification. Great coaches, great people. There's Anna, just trying that quad south, or quad left, pardon me. Hashtag Ask ISU, send us your questions. And this is where you're watching from love to nowhere. Skaters the Junior Grand Prix fans accessing this event. La période d'échauffement est maintenant terminée. Veuillez s'il vous plaît quitter la place. Merci. Veuillez accueillir la première concurrente. Representing the Republic of Korea, Yilin Kim. Well, Yilin is 15 years old. This is her third Junior Grand Prix season. She was born in Seoul. She's coached by Tom Krychek, choreographed by David Wilson and Drew Meekins. 130.26 personal best in the free program. She's skating here in the Junior Grand Prix final, the meditation by Massonet.
Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, from the Republic of Korea, Yelin Kim. Well, Yelin had a clean program going up to the end, that triple flip near the end of the program. Upper body started to rotate before her hips got wide in the air, under-rotated, if not downgraded, and feet not underneath her, just got that jump. That's the only mistake that she made. Frustrating that it's at the end. If you're gonna have one mistake, you prefer to have that a little earlier on. But what a beautiful program, what a beautiful skater. She carries such beautiful flow into the takeoffs and through the air. We'll take a look at some of those elements. Look at the speed she backs this up right over the toe pick. Look at the distance in the air. Reloads, triple toe, how nice. There's the double axle. Look at the speed off the end of the edge. Reloads, triple toe. The distance, that's just huge. When you see the skaters, with as much speed on the exit of the jump as they had on the entrance, you know that's great quality. There's the triple salakau. Speed in through the air on the landing. Nice. Here's the triple flip. Upper body went too early. And you can see the foot landed under rotated, couldn't get the free leg back. Right at the end, hard to get up. She's behind her music a little bit, has to fight to catch up. She does, right at the end. That lovely job by Yilin Kim of Korea. These young ladies are so young and so good, and they've got growth and maturity in front of them, but improvement as well. And with that maturity comes a, perhaps a better connection to the music, more emotional, learning how to be technical and a performer at the same time takes many years. And they're so good already. How fun will this be to follow their careers as we lead up to the Beijing Winter Olympic Games and beyond. Cheer them on, help them through the difficult times, celebrate with the good times. Tom Zukaicek and Tammy Gamble from Colorado Springs. The scores, please. Coaches of the Elin. The free program. Take a look at the scores. 130 was her personal best. 115.40 here in Vancouver at the final. First skater out. Nice job. Bright future. Keep your head up. Please welcome the next competitor. Veuillez accueillir la prochaine concurrente. Representing Russia, Anastasia Tarakanova. Anastasia, 14 years old, coached by Evgeny Plashenko and Zenia Ivanova. 126.13 personal best in the free program of skating to Believer by Imagine Dragons.
Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, from Russia, Anastasia Parakanova. Well, without question, this was her best performance of the year. She was not restricted by fear, but rather she was liberated by determination. She had great speed and flow throughout the program, solid on top of her foot on all the landings. She had more height in her jumps in the final here than she had throughout the year. Perhaps the change of working with new people finally started to click in. She had lots of time to check out and softly land. What a beautiful job by Anastasia Terakonova. You look at the Lutz, the hands over the head, perfect, right on top of the skate with speed and extensions on the landing. Here's a look. The triple loop. Right there with some one foot work and turns showing the total control on the landing. Here's triple flip. Euler, triple sow cow. Had to work hard for that sow, but she got it done. Here's the triple flip again. Look how tight the feet are together. And the legs are gonna be so tight to rotate efficiently. And she does. Here's right at the end of the program. This triple lutz reloads, triple toe. That's just pure determination. I always said that this was a fierce competitor. She knows what she wants. Boy, did she ever deliver today? 126.13 is her personal best. I think she's going to beat that. We'll see. Well, that's one very happy and proud young lady, and so she should be. She's had a, a struggle, but boy, did she deliver. Let's take a look at the scores. The free program score. Looking to beat the 126 mark, and she does. Season's best at 128.68. Anastasia is currently in first place. She's probably looking for more. I don't see a big smile there. There it is. Okay, 190.46 for the competition. Anastasia takes over first place. Please welcome the next competitor. Veuillez accueillir la prochaine concurrente. Representing Russia, Anna Chapakova. Well, Anna is just 14 years old. Born in Moscow, coached by Itari Tuberetsi, Sergei Dudikov, and Daniel Glekinkaus. 132.21 personal best earning that week one in the Junior Grand Prix. Planning the quad lots.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames and Messieurs, from Russia, Anna Sherbakova. Oh, this young lady is so remarkable in many, many ways. See, a little bit of a smile. Look, she's got disappointment. She so badly wanted those quad lutzes, but the rest of her skating, which she may not value as much at this moment, is of such high quality in her performance. And she kept her performance up throughout the program. Her focus for her was to accomplish the quad lutzes as she's done before. This did not pop up off that pick as quickly as she normally does. Didn't get the height, not the time then to get around. You can see the blade landing forward and she's off the back of the heel. But she gets up, boy, talk about courage, comes right back down the ice, says I'm gonna try to get this another time. Gets further around all the way, but not un does not unwind the free leg. Now she's got the rest of the program, she's gotta perform at a high level. The triples were easy for her, compared to the left quad. Here's a triple left through the end of the program. No problem, right up into a triple loop. Maybe some under rotation here and there. But this is her first year. She was injured last year, couldn't compete, was actually in the hospital for a number of weeks with quite a severe injury. Didn't know whether she could actually skate again. And she came back with pure determination. It was her that came to the ring. She decided she wanted to pursue this yet once again. You will see a lot from this young lady. She's charming, but she's outstanding. Oh, it's great to see a little smile from her. She's had a bit of a tough week. She's a very determined, highly competitive, and sensitive skater. We'll take a look at her scores. 132 was her best this season. 125.57 for Anna. And she's currently in second place in the free program. Anna is currently in second place. With a 181.83 for the competition. We'll see her again next year. Remember her name. Anna Shcherbakova. She'll be back. And a look backstage. These Please skaters, these young the skaters getting interviewed. Please accueillir la prochaine concurrente. Representing Russia, Aliona Kostovnaya. Aliona, 15 years old, born in Moscow, coached by Terry Tuberetsi, Sergei Dudikov, Daniel Glykinkaus, 132.42 personal best, week two in Linz, Austria. She's skating her free program here to Romeo and Juliet.
Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, from Russia, Aliona Kostova Kostovnaya. Well, Aliona was completely focused. And somewhere this year, somewhere, somehow, Aliona decided she could and she would deliver her best and fight for the top of the podium. No more. It doesn't want to accept second. She wants to be the highest step on that podium. And she had to deliver, and she did. And the pressure's on her club mate. Next skater, Alexander Trusova. What a beautiful performer. She looks calm. This is Ina Bowery double axle. She had a problem with that in one of the Junior Grand Prix. Popped that into a single. Really upset with that. Wouldn't happen again, and it hasn't. Carries the beautiful flow off the end of the edge. Here's some steps and moves right up into the triple lutz. Nice and straight and tight. Reloads that free leg. Look at the hand over the head for the double toe. Double toe combination. High quality. Good GOE quality scores on all her elements in the program. There's the triple flip. Triple toe loop. Look at the height on the second jump. And right on top with lots of speed. There's a triple sakao. Triple toe loop. Look at the height. She pushes herself up. Has to fight for that free leg to get back. But she did. young lady has the full package. I don't think of her as a junior. I see her as a senior. <laughs> Wonderful job. Congratulations, young lady. All that hard work, and sometimes the disappointment, provides you the experience to deliver at a moment like this. Enjoy it. Here's the current leader, Anastasia Tereknova, former club mate. 132.42, the personal best for Eliona so far this season. I'm sure she'll top that here this afternoon. The free program score, Season's best, 141.66. You can see a big smile come on her face right now. Full of pride. She deserves it. 217.98 for the competition. Alina Kostanaya of Russia is currently in first place. There's a look at the standings so far. Please welcome the next competitor. Veuillez accueillir la prochaine concurrente. Representing Russia, Alexandra Trusova. Well, Alexander, 14 years old, coached by Yateri Tuberetsi, Sergei Dudikov, and Yankleikin Kaus. She's got quads, three of them planned. We'll see. She's skating to a collection of music from the soundtrack of The Fifth Element.
Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, from Russia, Alexandra Trusova. Well, what I love about this young lady is she's gracious, she's fearless. And she's maybe a little disappointed, but she carries a smile. She carries the passion to skate. This is her driving her. Nobody needs to do that for her. She wants those elements, goes after them, is not afraid. She has extraordinary courage and great quality. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Opening of her program behind the glass in front of the judges. Here's the quad lats. This just did not pop. Oh, actually, that one did. That got some pretty good height. Couldn't check it out. Relay gets stuck in front a little bit, and she has to flip out of it. That's okay. She get credit for the full rotation. Here's the second one. Big, deep inside edge, back to the outside edge, too far forward, and slips off the pick. That was it. She comes down, here's the quad toe. Look at the height and the tightness. Does a three turn. Quick double axle right off a step into the triple toe loop. She's so strong. Triple lutz a little bit later in the program. Right up immediately to the triple loop. Not a lot of flow on the landing there. She'll lose some quality points. There's that cantilever right up into the triple lutz. You do a triple salka. I mean, just it's ridiculous. You know, we, we think, okay, she had some problems with the quad lutz as gee whiz. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so good at everything else. Keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself determined. And explore what you can do. And thank you what, for what you've already done. The scores, please. The free program score. 140.77. Now that's second in the free program. Alexandra is currently in second And total place. competition score, 215.20. She's in second. This is the first competition in two years. This young lady has not won, at least on the Junior Grand Prix. There's a look at the current standings. Eliona, well deserved. Finally, finally, one skater yet to come. Please welcome the we'll final see. skater. Please accueillir la dernière concurrente. Representing Russia, Aliona Kanisheva. Charming Aliona, 13 years old, born in Moscow. She's coached by Svetlana Panova. 124.07 personal best in Linz, Austria, week two. She's skating to dreams of a winter journey.
Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, Aliona Kanisheva. Absolutely charming. Snow Princess, delicate and detailed. Just loved how calm she was in her facial expressions. She never looked, even though she might have felt it, she never looked panicked. She never looked rushed. She looked in total control. 13 years old, first Junior Grand Prix season. What a debut. Currently in third place coming into the free program. And she delivered a little bit of magic here this afternoon. Here's the triple lutz. Beautiful. Look at the flow coming out. Look at how beautiful her back is. Such a straight posture. Some more steps coming up into the triple lutz. Reloads. Triple toe loop. Look at the height. You need the second jump to be a little higher than the first one. Here's the triple flip. Euler into the triple saw. Had to work a little bit on that, but she got it. Look at the face. Just calm. Beautiful triple flip, double toe. Truly a princess. Beautiful. Nicely done. There's Eliona Kostodaya sitting. I have not seen that big of a smile from her scores, for a bit, for a while. The it might grow a little bit more after these scores. Season's best, 129.48. Eliona Kanesheva of Russia in third. Grabs a medal, first time out on the Junior Grand Prix circuit here in the final in Vancouver, 198.14, season's best for a total competition score. And there's a look at the top five with Yiling Kim of Korea in six, and there's the champion. You deserve it, young lady. Beautifully done. And there's a look at the final results. Alina Kosinaya of Russia with 217.98, Alexander Tusova 215.20, and Aliona Kanesheva of Russia 198.14. Your top three and a look at the rest of the field. All brilliant skaters. Well, one event yet to come, the Junior Pairs Free Program. Megan Duhamel will be joining me in Vancouver at 1630 for that. Stay with us. We'll be back. Aliona, congratulations. You know, you looked so calm and relaxed out there today. Is that the way you actually felt? inside uh, I feel uh, some nervous but in more part it will be happy because uh, competition and, uh, and I like to be a competitor 
There were five other Russian women in this event with you. What are some of the positives and maybe challenges about having so much depth in Russian women skating? And I'm happy about it too, because I think it will be in one moment when all Russian girls will be in the during Grand Prix final. Congratulations on a great competition. Enjoy the moment. Thank you.